Hello guys. So it's been a long time since I have been making videos. Main problem was that I was having an exams and it, uh, I was busy. So from now on, I will be making videos more frequently than normal. So in this video, I want to give you guys a tour on my Linux Mint system. This is the Linux Mint 18.1 Serena and it's the KDE edition. I'm really liking this one and it's been uh, to be honest I really like KD over GNOME or anything because GNOME has became so much buggy and I need a lot of extensions to do different things in uh, GNOME and KD checks all the boxes for me so I installed KD and uh, let me run through my system so this is my system I have installed uh, quite some apps uh, in this and uh, let me show you the kernel that I'm using because I'm not using the original kernel I changed the kernel to 8 and the default one that comes with uh, Linux Mint is 4.4 .4 something I changed that to 4.8 and it's working flawlessly uh, and I got NVIDIA Optimus working and everything is working just uh, fine in this There's, there was some issues uh, with the GTK2 theming when I installed it but I changed the theme to the breeze dark and everything is working fine now so uh, let me show that uh, I'm using the Arc Dark now, and for the GTK theme, I'm using the Breeze Dark. Uh, is the GTK 2 theme. It's the Breeze Dark. Let me let me try changing that to the Linux one. And, uh, let's try. Okay, it's now changed to no mix compared to the breeze dark. Uh, let me run some apps now. So yeah, it's working. And I'm using the GTK Plus theme, so it's working fine now. And I also installed the UK. Uh, this is the top-down terminal for. Uh, drop down terminal for KD and uh, let me clear this out actually uh, let me show you how this is set up so and let's open yeah okay YAU uh, this is my setup so I added screen fetch to work at the startup of every terminal applications i also installed console uh, in this one and it also shows the screen fetch and it's it's working flawlessly i also installed terminator there also the screen fetch works flawlessly so if you guys want to know how to get screen fetch to work when we start the terminal then do let me know in the comment section below and i'll make a video on that it's uh, it's pretty easy and it will be a very short video i'll be making that if you guys need so yeah thanks a lot for watching guys peace out